Are we recording? Right, we're recording. recording. Okay, so for the intro, I want you to read the ROG 3, you know? Uh, ROG Phone 3. Nice. Very good. And then you zoom out. Okay. You zoom out. And then it reveals me. Nice. With my merch. You buy my merch. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the unboxing and testing of the ROG Phone 3. Ang tagal ko nang gusto magkaroon ng ganito. And now I finally have it in my hands. So this was sent to us by our friends from Asus. And ang pinakakatanungan talaga. Katanungan? Katanungan? Katan katanungan? So the main question when buying a dedicated gaming phone such as the ROG Phone 3 is Kaya ba ang Genshin Impact? Then you zoom in for like intense. No, you don't have to like go lean in. You just the lens. Oh, like. Okay. Sapa, sapa. Okay. Can it? No, you have to do it again. Okay. Can, can it handle Genshin Impact? Was that good? Yeah. Nice. You lang naman eh. Like you, you won't buy this phone for its 8K video recording or its 64 megapixel camera. No, you're not gonna buy it for that. You're gonna buy it. Because it can handle Genshin Impact. Yun na yun. Okay. During our previous uh, reviews of other phones, ang benchmark natin was Hongkai Impact. But now we have something even better. Alam ko yung problema ng karamihan. Yeah, it's a free game. Genshin Impact is free. We should be playing it. Pero gloko yung phone namin hindi kaya ang Genshin Impact. Now for those who are uh, into like uh, dedicated gaming phones and looking for something. Uh, to replace their old phones for Genshin Impact, then maybe, just maybe, this is the answer to your woes. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's the main objective. If it can handle Genshin Impact, then it can handle any freaking game out in the market right now. But before we get to test it out, we have to unbox it. Okay, ano bang laman nitong kahon na to na mukhang Toblerone na malaki? We shall see. Okay, here we go. So we'll just make a little incision there and then you can start ripping it out. You know, diba? Nice. Oh, wow, wala siyang amoy. Aww, yun parang yung una ko rin review yung amoy yung makakaon. Wow, it's like a puzzle. Paano ba to? Tinataas lang ba to? Parang toble rin. Oh, o nga no, cool! Watch, watch, watch this. Ay, bobo, hindi ko alaw ganun. There's definitely something wrong I'm doing. So it does like this. Parang buko. Diba? Pag may biniyak ang buko, gaganit. And it reveals the phone. Nice. Actually, I'm not sure kung tama yung pabukas ko. Let's see. It's like a loading dock now. Cool. Alright. Anggalin na natin. There you go. It splits into two. Now, what you see here, look at it. So, what you see here is the USB uh, dock cooler. Tama ba? The cooling dock. Tama ayun. The cooling dock. So, this is something you put on the side of the phone to cool it off. I'll show you guys that later. But let's put our focus on this phone right here. Ooh, look at that. Kita mo yan. Mm. There it is. The almighty ROG Phone 3. So this is it, boys. Let's undress her. Parang pangat ng wording ko, undress her. Pero pwede na rin, why not? I'll address her gently. Oh no, it's on! What the heck? I didn't even do anything! Oh, baka napindot ko yung button habang nag... Okay, but anyways, look at that. Whew! Look at that smooth. Bevel screen. Damn. You know, a lot of people are saying this is like the biggest freaking gaming phone they uh out there right now, but para sa akin na, it's still as slim as the as most phones, so okay siya. See this? This one lights up when there's a notification. So mi ilo ilo siya. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Shut on <laughs> What is over here? So, ano to? The, ang cool naman ng ano niya. Look at this, yung pin, pang dungkol. 
dun sa SIM card. It's kind of custom made. See that? Parang susi talaga. Cool, yo. Nice. You got this. Okay, manual. Di ko na binasa kasi nakatamad. <laughs> and we have here. Oh, oh my god. This is rare. This is rare, dude. A charger. Man, I never thought a charger would come in the box of a phone. Dati, binibili pa yan separate. Di, di ba? Di ba? Yes. Just say yes. Yan, okay. Charger included in the ROG Phone 3. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, in the plugs for the USB Type-C. Right here. See that? So... Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's pretty weird. Um, what else? You have the charging cable right there. We also have here the 3.5 millimeter jack adapter. So if you want to game with your headphones, so right there. Dito naman, the cooling dock. So the cooling dock is right over here. You just pull it off and boom. See that? Cool. I'm, I am so sorry, Bobo. So there's this thing here. Now, I think rubber stopper now, rubber cover. So it's pretty tight. So I don't think fugutin talaga. Yeah, ito na. Boop! Yay! And there it is. Weird, no? This is the first phone I've seen na ganito yung USB ports niya. Two Type C USB ports, like, connected together. Ayan. It's two. Siguro just to power this thing on. So, ito, ikakabit siya dito. But we'll do that later on. Hehehe! <laughs> Gusto ko lang pakita. Okay, yun na. Para mag-get mag yung point. So, makikita nyo dyan, ito yung 3.5mm jack. Ito rin yung isa pang USB Type-C. So, for example, hindi mo gusto gamitin tong 3.5mm na to. Alright, this one, ayaw mo gamitin, you just want a game. You connect this here, boom, and then 3.5mm jack, bam. That's good. I'll show you guys that later on. Anyways, back to the phone. Look at that, slick design. ROG na ROG. You got the Strix logo right over there. Pretty cool. So, again, it has a 64 megapixel camera, main camera right here. Uh, I think a uh, macro camera, third one. Second camera is, I think, 13 megapixels? Not sure. I think so. Yeah, I think so. And then on the front, you have uh, 24. Tama? 24 megapixel camera. Mm -hmm. Front cam. All good. There you go. But again, this is not what you guys came here for. You guys want to see how it games, right? So, set up ko lang to uh, quickly. So, I'll be back. It says here, do not insert a Type-C thingy on the lower one. Nice. I wonder why. Lower colored mount. Hmm. So this one, kita niyan? That one, you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do not insert a type C there. Hindi siya para sa data. <laughs> okay, it's probably to power on the cooling dock. What is this? Ito pala may casing. Ito pala may casing eh. <laughs> Boom. Comes with a casing. Okay, ayoko maglagay ng mga ganitong casing. Alright. I like to keep it raw. If you know what I mean. Ne? So if you want like a matte grip on your phone or madulas yung kamay mo most of the time or pasmado ka and put this here. Pretty cool. You know, for more comfy and grippier gaming. You know, I take it back. It's It feels good. <laughs> it actually feels good. Nice. Alright, so we have here choose system style. Take a look at that. So... We have the default and the classic. Classic is, you know, classic Android look, you know, for Office or for normies like me. And if you're like into the super gamer mode, because why not? Because you bought a uh, 40k phone for gaming, then choose the default phone. I mean, default mode. See that? I mean, it's just, it just made your wallpaper more <laughs> gamery. But other than that, oh yeah, the buttons are more... 
um, embossed, I think. <laughs> interactive as well. Really? What do you mean interactive? ROG phone. The previous ROG phone, if you press this, mm. it activates game mode. Oh, I didn't know that. Sorry guys, but this is my first ROG phone. ROG Elite desperately needs you to join the resistance mission immediately. What? What is this? Uh, yeah. Start. Start. Scan ROG totem. Totem. Click the... this one. Totem. This one. Yeah. We can scan this. Where ulul? Scan the totem and hold it in place. What the heck? All right. Am I doing this right? What? What? Oh, those are nice sounds. What if I block it? Ulul, go, go, no. It actually gets interrupted. <laughs> Yo, this is so extra. What the? Baila, ulul. So well, it kind of confirms that it can support AR software or programs. Nice. Start, start, and then start. Oh uh, shit! I'm gonna play Pokemon Go soon. Yay! Am I done now? What? What, what is this? I don't know, man. So. Temporal? Swipe. Oh. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> hey, 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 another reference. Yeah, the, the Akira yes. thing. Yes, yes. Join us. Yes. Wow. First time I've ever experienced that when setting up a phone. <laughs> what a way of saying, welcome to your new 40K phone. Now you feel so elite. Anyways, yeah, that was, honestly, that was weird, but unique. You know, that's a big Our consumers are gamers, so of course, so that they can feel just how much of a gaming phone this is, we're gonna give them a, a, a setup where they game. Cool animations and all that. It says here I can play again. My, my high score. <laughs> okay, so we now have a fully set up ROG Phone 3 on it, all its glory. I'm currently on its default mode. Uh, I'll probably switch to classic mode after this, but you know, just for the purpose of this video, I'll show you guys the default mode. Now, what you're looking at is a 6.6 inch 1080p full HD 144 hertz OLED display. 144 hertz phone screen. Grab E. So, this is the interface. Look at that. Uh, pretty smooth and daming app. Oh my god. Nalipat ko ni mga apps ko dun sa previous phone ko. Ayan na. See that? Yeah, super smooth. Put it down, scroll down, look at that. And then we have this one. Boom. It's the dedicated gaming software of the ROG Phone 3. So we have here the console. This is where you go for X mode. X mode is pretty much like gamer mode. Okay, tataasin niya yung CPU and all that. It's pretty cool. Tap the X symbol to turn on the X mode. Boom. boom. And then boom. It's gonna use up uh, more RAM, more memory, and all that just to make your games run smoother. You have the custom settings here and all that. Uh, level 2, level 3. Yan. Kung gusto mo talaga ng todo todo, you have to use the Aero Active Cooler, which is this one. Which we're gonna demonstrate right now! Yay! Okay, here we go. So, this is the cooling dock. Okay? This is gonna keep your phone cool. Kaya, para hindi uminit yung kamay mo habang nagigenshin impact ka for like 4 freaking hours a day. Maybe more. Who knows kung kano ka adik ka. So, this is it. You can uh, adjust it like this. Kung di mo ka kung lalak mo na, but if you're gonna attach it, just. Pull it up and then align it properly. 
So you see that? Salpakin mo lang. I can't see. Ayan. There you go. Nakasalpak na siya. Then, poop. And we now have the cooler. Oh, wow. Okay. Umon siya. I go on. The fan is running as well. Kung naririnig nyo. So, docking your ROG Phone 3 on accessory with fans may affect the audio quality of phone calls and recordings. Alright, yada yada. Okay, cool. So, ito na. Kung gusto mo na ikabit, mag-charge ka, lagay mo rin yung headphones mo dito and start gaming. That's how it, that's how it works. Cool, no? So, now that we've set up our ROG Phone 3, there is one super cool feature that other phones don't have, which is the air triggers. So, what are air triggers? So, if you look right here, you don't really see anything, right? You don't see a trigger. You don't see a button or anything, right? Well, that's where you're wrong because the ROG Phone 3 has sensors right over here that act as triggers, okay? You know how some phones have like um, accessories just to, so that they can have like a pressable button here? Well, Asus built that in this freaking phone. Look at this. If I squeeze here, do you see that? You see that squeezy? The highlight thingy right over there? Yeah, those are the air triggers. Oh yeah, by the way, when I squeeze it, it activates via squeezing. So if I squeeze it like that, watch. Boom! There you go. Yeah, I made my own sound effects. But it basically turns on X mode or the gamer mode. Okay, uh, just to give you guys a more solid proof. See that? Gamer mode on. If I want to turn it off, just squeeze it again. Boom, gamer mode off, okay? So we have sensors both here and here. It's L1, R1. So if you have a game, you wanna bind it, you can bind uh, a certain button right here or right there. Pretty cool. Now let's play Genshin, but it's gonna take me um, a while to download Genshin. So while we're waiting for Genshin Impact, we're gonna test out the phone's camera features. Okay, first off, let me take a selfie. We only have two lights here, this one and that one. Okay, to simulate, uh, not really natural light, but in a high light setting. So here we go, selfie cam, 24 megapixels. All right, there you go. And then front cam video feature. Uh, kind of grainy, wait, let me see. Full HD, setting it up to full HD 1080p. Yeah, we're good. There you go, front cam. Let's test it out. Yeah, there you go. Nice, did it work? Did it work, did it work? In. Next up, front camera vlogging, kind of, whatever. Um, this can go, the 65 megapixel camera in the front, it can go 4K 60 FPS and can even go 8K. I have no idea how I can show 8K in this video, <laughs> but I can show you guys the capabilities of 1920 by 1080p 60 FPS because that's like the standard uh, vlogging Called resolution and settings, so we're gonna go for that. There you go, 1080p 60 FPS. Let's see how it does. There you go, 1080p 60 FPS. There you go. So far, so good. I'm gonna try and focus on the grains. Cool. I'm gonna remove the cooling dock right now. Three, two, one. Boop. Okay, cooling dock removed. I hope that improved the microphone. There. Now let's try out in a low light setting. Low light setting, 1080p, 60 FPS. <laughs> Not looking good. But hey, it is low light. Expect graininess. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. Next, I'm gonna test out the photography. Here we go. And 
will do a bit of macro photography using the macro lens with one peso coin. Let's see. And there you have it. Those are the video and photographs we took with the ROG Phone 3. Let me know what you guys think. So, we're gonna try out Wild Rift for now kasi ang tagal pa mag-download ng Genshin Impact. As you guys can hear, sana naririnig nyo, ang ganda ng speakers. Speakers are blasting off from here and here. And it's pretty loud. Loud but clear. Very, very crisp. So, for people like me who likes the ambience of speakers, this is nice. Anyways, Game Genie, right? So, you just swipe left. You can see the game icon here. You uh, press that. Uh, just there you go it pops up game genie you can record your gameplay using the rog phone 3 right here you can speed up everything using um, x mode you can activate the air triggers I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna activate the air triggers on this type of game so we'll do that later on with genshin um you can uh, also see real-time info right here uh right now the game is running on 30 fps because i'm on uh, the tutorial level i cannot change my settings right now but later on i'm gonna put that to 60 fps so you can uh, do some real-time info if you want to benchmark or you can record so we're gonna record right now allow that height so it is this phone has 500 gigabytes worth of storage so it's pretty cool right now it's recording uh right below is there you can see all the info i'm not sure if you guys can see it but you can probably see it in the recording Okay, all right. So here we go. We're gonna test it out. Play. Uh, my account got reset. Find match. And okay, there you go. Yay! Accept. Okay. Woo! So it's running. It's running. You know what? I, I I'll show you guys like uh, 60 FPS gameplay. Okay. Taposin ko lang tum game na to, and then we'll move on to the 60 FPS gameplay. Okay, guys. All right. Dali lang to. Super easy lang to. See this? Easy, easy bot. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the 60 FPS gameplay after this one. All right, so. So ayan na guys, naka 60 FPS na siya. I'm gonna start recording this one. There you go. There you go, boys. It is now recording. Yosh. Tina ako. Ayan. So right now I'm playing it at the highest settings on 60 FPS at the same time recording it in 1080p. Let's hope it still runs smoothly. I'm pretty sure it will. Okay, tina natin. Mahihita natin dito. Okay. Here we go, boys. 60 FPS in the highest freaking settings. I'm playing with AI just so that you guys can see uh, how it, you know, how it works. So currently, CPU usage is at 60 to 50% and all that, GPU 29%. Um, uh, the phone is not that warm uh, thanks to the cooling of the, the cooler dock right here. And I am also recording it using its in-game, or in-phone rather, in-phone recorder. So, so far, pretty smooth. Let's see if we can uh, kill Garen here. I'm pretty sure I can. He will. He will die. Yep, he will die. In three, two, one, boom. There you go. So far, so smooth, guys. Wow. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. So, yeah, it can handle wild drift, 60 FPS, highest settings. I'm not even I'm not even turning on the speed up uh, function. This is not boosted up in any way. Not right now. You guys can hear the audio, right? The the stereo sounds from the phone. It's so good. Love the shot other guns. Yeah, dude, speakers are pretty nice. Hey, by the way, it has vibration. In the right areas like for example uh garen right over here or chin chow is attacking right here right i can only feel the vibrations on this side of the phone 
That's a whole new level of immersion. Pretty cool. It's kind of like a kind of like a dual shock feature from PS4 controllers. Pretty nice, huh? Cool immersion. Yes, yes. Super clear. Super clear speakers right there, guys. So, anyways, we're gonna wait for Genshin Impact to finish downloading, and that's where we will totally test out the gaming capacity of this phone. I'm not gonna finish this game anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set everything once we go in. Oh my god, here we go! Ooh, those sounds. Ooh. Okay, right now it's running on 30 FPS. Kasi ka install ko lang. Now, we're gonna go here. We're gonna set. Oh, wait lang, wait lang. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. So far, na load naman siya. 30 FPS seems pretty smooth. Uh, huh, how do I... How do I set my thing? Ito ba yun? Setting, ayun. Sorry, first time ko maglaro using the phone. Okay, I usually play it on a PC. Graphics, graphics. Turn it up to 60 FPS. Render the resolution high, lahat high. High everything, like high everything. Highest, there you go. Highest, 60 FPS. Um, current performance load overclocked. Sure, dude. Let's overclock the the whole thing, and then okay na. Yon. So right now it's overclocked. Oh my God! It works! It works! It works! It freaking works! Oh my God! Let's see it in battle. Let's go! Let's go! Ah, ba't yung english to? Ba't naka-English? Oh no! Naka-English siya? But so far so good. So far so good. Uh, we're getting some frame drops. 42, 45 FPS. Maybe I should uh, overclock it some more. Yeah, tingnan natin. Let's see. Uh, pause it for now. Uh, right. Now we, we we haven't sped up the game, so we're gonna speed it up. System optimized. There you go. Um, in game mode on. Go lang. Wait lang. Where's my game mode? Console. Uh, papa level three ko to. How do I level three this? You're not level 3 now. Okay. Applying. Wait lang. I'm exiting every application. Kabukas pa pala yung wild drift natin. <laughs> Okay. naka na yung wild drift natin nun. Alright. Reconnecting to server. Reconnecting. Okay na. Okay. Wait a moment. I need to change my language. Japanese. Oh, I have to restart. Right. So far, so good. Smooth naman. Everything's pretty smooth. Oh, <laughs> and there you go. Nice. Now it's time to check for bugs. How do I zoom in? Yeah, there you go. So one way to check for bugs is to do this. Yeah, or we can just. Huh? Oh. No bugs there. Oh wait, I'm gonna see now. Wait, wait a moment. So we have here Amber. Nothing. Dancing Bunny at 60 FPS. Pretty cool. <laughs> Galing! I'm loving it. Are you sure? No, you no bugs found. No bugs found there. How about you, Jean? Ito talaga, magkakaalaman tayo dito with Jean. Kung may bugs ba talaga tong game na to. 
Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah. No bugs found. ROG phone works pretty well. Subarashi. It's all good. It's all good, dude. It's all good in the hood. 60 FPS, glorious. Ah! Dude, this is awesome. Now take note, I'm recording this game at the same time playing it on the highest setting. Recording it using its in-phone recorder in full 1080p and it's running pretty well. Uh, my hands are not toasty at all. You can see it's in 46 degrees. However, it doesn't really feel that way because of the fan. If I remove this, it's gonna feel toasty. But if I don't remove this, Ampres ko siya. Ampres ko ng hangin nung cooling dock. Okay, the cooling dock pretty much blows air here and here. So if you're holding your phone like this, uh, you're gonna feel all the wind coming from the fan and it feels kind of good. All right. Your phone will definitely feel warm uh, in some areas, but it won't feel like, you know, some kind of hot potato. So, so far, so good, guys. So there you have it. ROG Phone 3 can definitely take on Genshin Impact in its highest settings while recording your screen on 60 FPS. Maybe it will drop to like 30 or 40 FPS during um, high action or uh, what do you call this? High populated, um, uh, what do you call this? Combat. But other than that, it runs pretty smoothly. So mm, this is good. Good job, ROG. So yep, if it can run Genshin Impact, then it can run pretty much any game out there right now for the mobile phone. Enjoy the face of Amber. I'm gonna stop recording the phone right now. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Cons of the phone. It can get very toasty without this, okay? Even though you're not gaming, it could get toasty. So most of the time, you'll probably be using this one. As for the battery, it's 6,000 milliamps. Dude, it's, it's more than this, than my power bank. 6,000, it can get you the whole day, I'm pretty sure. As long as you, you know, maintain the phone properly. Um, the cooling dock is pretty awesome. Presko siya on both sides. The actual cons of this phone is actually things that I don't really mind personally. For example, a lot of you guys are probably into wireless charging. But the ROG Phone 3 doesn't have that. It does not have wireless charging. Um, it does not have a built-in 3.5 millimeter jack. Shut up! There you go. It doesn't have a built-in 3.5 millimeter millimeter jack, but it does come with the cooling dock, so that kind of compensates for that one plus this thing. Another thing is. It's still in Android 10. The latest Android uh, version is Android 11. So I'm not sure if that's going to be an issue in the future. Maybe it will. But for now, 10 is pretty uh, updated. But maybe it will have some kind of update in the future. Hopefully it does. So there. Now some people would say or feel that this phone is heavy. But for me, not really. I mean, for its size, it's still pretty light. Even with the cooling dock, it doesn't feel too heavy. I mean, it, a Nintendo Switch is a whole lot heavy. I think for the ROG Phone 3 with the cooling dock, it weighs like one-fourth of a Nintendo Switch. That's how it feels like. Another thing, maybe this is something that kinda bothers me. It's not really water-resistant. Or at least it doesn't say it is. So as a fisherman, as an angler, I'm planning to take this out during my fishing trips. 
Well, not a lot of phones really have waterproofing, but it would have been cool. But hey, you're a gamer. Why would you, why would you uh, put it near water, right? So there you go. Um, it's more of like a personal thing. But other than that, everything's pretty cool. It's beautiful. It's slick. It's cool. I love it. Pretty nice. Oh yeah, the air triggers. I forgot to tell you guys or show you guys the air triggers. Wait, air triggers. Okay, here we go. So for the air triggers, you can see it right here. I activated it, so you just drag this one. Drag it to the attack button. There you go. And then the left trigger, I'll probably use it for the um, sprinting. There you go, sprinting. Nice. So pressing this trigger over here, it should attack. And then if I want to sprint, I just press this. Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude! Oh, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. Can you see it? So, let's say for example, I want to run and gun. So sprint, and then... Does it work for aiming mode? Yes, it does. Just hold it, and then boom. Hold it. Boom. So you can probably apply that to like FPS games, like... COD M or PUBG Mobile and all that, but it definitely works on Genshin Impact. So good! So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So if I'm gonna give this an award, I'm definitely giving it a gold award, okay? Glocko seal of approval. Just because it can play Genshin Impact on 60 FPS. Plus it looks cool. Yes, she agrees. So there you go guys, thank you very much for watching my unboxing and review of the ROG Phone 3. You will see me use this on upcoming mobile streams like Wild Rift, maybe Genshin Impact, but I'll still continue playing Genshin Impact on the PC, but definitely Wild Rift. Wild Rift and future mobile games. Alright guys, so if you guys want to know more about the ROG Phone 3, there's a link in the description below. Alright. Maybe I'll test this out on a fishing trip next time, the video and photography, just to give you guys like an update. Maybe on another video. But for now, that's it. Now leave me alone! I'm gonna play some Genshin Impact. Excuse me? Can't you see I'm like... I'm <laughs> speaker,